Hey, what's going on guys? Happy Monday, happy Motivation Monday. Wanted to just show you how I would plan for a dinner out, right? So a lot of the things that we hear is like, okay, how do I track my calories if I go out to dinner? Like, how do I uh, make sure that I don't blow it when I'm not the one in control of making my own food? Super common, here all the time. And I wanted to show you guys a really quick and simple way to make sure that within range, we're staying in our calorie targets, okay? So I'm gonna do a screen share real quick and we'll jump right in, so hang tight for me. Okay, so what we got here is just a blank meal log. Um, you can use MyFitnessPal, you can use the Carbon app, um, my personal app here, if you're a member of our program, there's a, good, there's a bunch of them out there. Just pick one, don't overthink it, anything's better than nothing. So basically, um, what we wanna do here is in this, this is just like a test. This is just like a, um, a fake plan here. But let's just say um, these were your macronutrients, so proteins, carbs, fats. And in this scenario, in this mock meal log, I just have 100 grams of protein, 175 uh, carbs, and 50 grams of fat for a calorie ceiling of 1,550, okay? Years might be less, years might be more. Um, just to give you guys an idea. So if you're gonna go out to dinner, let's just say we're gonna to go to a restaurant, okay? So the first thing I want you guys to do is let's look up which restaurant we're gonna to go to. So let's say it's a, um, like a steakhouse, okay? Great, so we're gonna to go to a steakhouse on Friday night. So what I'd have you do is we're gonna put the biggest meal in first, okay? So put the biggest meal in first, reverse engineer it from there. So let's just go right down to dinner, go to add food or drink, and let's just say, okay, now here's where the trade-off happens. Here's where we have to be a big boy or a big girl and make a trade-off. Sure. Would we love to just maybe mow down a ribeye and have a bunch of cheesy crab uh, mac and cheese with like a whole bottle of red wine? Yeah, it sounds fucking delicious, right? But we also understand that that's probably not a good idea for trying to lose weight. Okay, guys, instead, we need to make a trade-off. So we're at a steakhouse. I want the ribeye, but that's a thousand calories, right? So maybe I'll go with the filet mignon instead. Or maybe I'll go with this top sirloin instead. Not the most amazing, but hey, I'm at a great steakhouse. I'm with people I, I love. This is a trade-off that I'm willing to make in order to find balance in my life. So there's an FYI on that. But let's just say we go with, we settle for just the filet, okay? So first thing we want to do is go ahead and put the filet mignon in there. <clears throat> see how it defaults to one ounce boneless. Um, I think typically they're like six ounces, right? So we'll go six ounce filet. Go ahead and just add that up to the, to the uh, meal. Um, and then let's just say we want to do um, some mashed potatoes. So we'll just pop, pop in mashed potatoes. Now, FYI guys, like it's never going to be perfect. You know, like at the end of the day, um, uh, you know, we just have to take our best freaking guess. Like it's, if you're eating out, then you just gotta, go, you just gotta enter it in. Don't get caught up in the details. Don't get caught up in the weeds, whether it's right or it's wrong, or it's good or it's bad. Just anything is better than nothing. Even if you're 20% wrong, it's still putting parameters on your day, okay? So my mashed potatoes there, a cup of that. Um, let's say, you know what, honestly, I think that typically these fillets are more like eight ounces. So we'll punch that up to eight realistically. Got our mashed potatoes. And let's just say we'll do like, I don't know, so maybe some cream spinach. I'm just spitballing here, but you guys will get the idea, okay? Cream spinach. Put that in, one cup, sounds about right. It's okay, we're, we're, we're clocking those calories in now. So maybe that's good enough on food. Maybe you wanna have a little dessert, right? So let's say we do like, I don't know, like a chocolate cake, right? chocolate cake. All right. Um, again, we're not going to, we're not going to worry too much about the details. We're just going to go ahead and, and get one in there. Okay. So let's see what we can do here. One cubic inch. Well, that's interesting. So we can just go, all right, we're fine. Then I'll have four cubic inches. <laughs> Good enough, right? Like maybe it's less, maybe it's more. We're not going to get too caught up in it. We're just going to get something down. I can imagine what four cubic inches looks like. That seems like a reasonable serving if I'm trying to watch my calories and not go overboard. I don't want to eat the whole thing, 
but that's at least a few good bites. I'll feel satisfied with that, right? And then maybe you want, maybe lastly, maybe you want to have, um, you know, a glass of wine or something, right? So then put that in. Okay, red table wine, one fluid ounce, pump that up to five. This is what a serving is, and voila, okay? So here's the trade-off. Here's how we do this. This is a pretty decent sized dinner, right? We got an eight ounce filet mignon. We got a cup of mashed potatoes. We got a cup of cream spinach. We're gonna do a nice little serving of a chocolate fudge or chocolate cake. We got, and then a glass of wine. I think we could all live with that, right? If we're trying to get healthy, we're trying to lose weight, we're trying to find balance in our life, call me crazy, that seems like a decent trade-off. That is 900 calories. Now you only have 1550 for the day. So down here, it shows us, okay, so we've got 623 calories remaining. So what, what do we do in this situation? Here's what I want you to do. You're going to keep breakfast light. Let's just go uh, protein shake, right? Protein powder, whey, vanilla, add a scoop. And then we'll go um, maybe just some oatmeal for, it, for our breakfast, okay? So we got oatmeal, one cup cooked at that. Okay. So we got 300 calories for our breakfast, just a little protein shake and an oatmeal because we know because we're staying on top of our health and fitness, we've already gotten ahead of it. We know that dinner is going to be going to be where the majority of the lion's share of our calories is going to come from. And so knowing that we can go ahead and have a smaller breakfast and a smaller lunch. All right. So now with, with that breakfast, we are at 1,230 out of our 1,550. You guys stay with me here? So remaining, we have 318 left. Okay, so we're gonna have a small lunch now. Uh, there you go, lunch, add food. So let's go keep it lean. Chicken breast, everyone's favorite. Just go ahead and type in chicken breast. I'm gonna go to one ounce. Boneless cooked, perfect. Let's just go five ounces here. Where does that put us? 275. Maybe we'll want to pull that down to four, save a little bit of room for some carbs. So we got four ounces of chicken breast, and then let's just go um, maybe some like brown rice. Brown rice, let's go half cup and voila. Okay. All right, team. So let's see where we're at here. So out of our total of 1,550 calories, we are at 1,559. My goodness, it's almost like I know what I'm freaking doing here, right? Look at that. We've got um, 128 out of 100 grams of protein. So we overshot it on protein, which is great. Um, our carbs, um, <clears throat> we're at 126 out of 175. And then our fats were at 47 out of 50, right? For crushing. So tell me that you couldn't live off of this diet plan, right? So you get to have a big old dinner at a steakhouse with wine and a dessert and a flamin' yawn and mashed potatoes and cream spinach. And then all we're doing to make room for that in this scenario, if you were on a 1500 calorie diet, is we're just simply having a smaller breakfast, we're having a smaller lunch, still decent. I mean, four ounces of chicken, a half cup of rice. Like if you ate a later lunch, like around two or three and you had that, like you can make it to seven, eight o'clock and then have your nice dinner. You know what I mean? So like, this is how you guys got to do it. This is how you got to start thinking about sustainability um, with your meals and not get caught up in like templates or cookie cutter programs, but understand calories. When you understand calories, you get to do fun stuff like have delicious dinners out with a little bit of everything that you enjoy. And the trade-off is you just have a little bit smaller of a lunch and a little bit smaller of a breakfast and save room for those calories. So I hope that helps guys. Um, now drop a comment below um, if you want a little bit more help understanding where your calories should be. So this is just kind of like a random 1500 calorie plan. We have clients that are on uh, 2,400 calories a day. We have clients that are on 1,100 calories a day. It really just depends on the person their body type, what their goals are. There's a few different factors involved. If you're interested on, on like where your calories should be, just drop a comment below or just shoot us a DM and we'll, we'll walk you through it, okay? All right, hope that helps. Have a fantastic Monday, guys.